All right, DigiKey and Adafruit bring you. This week on IMPI Analog Devices. All right, all right, all right. Back to the ADI classic Massachusetts right. electronics company. What's so. the newest, latest, greatest, most interesting thing that you saw on digikey.com? part of the Ion MPI series that we do every week. What did you see this week? I'm glad you asked. I have something new every week. So this week, uh, I'm always on the lookout for new sensors, and this sensor caught my eye on MPI. This is uh, the Analog Devices ADT7422. And uh, I've played with the ADT7410, which is a precision temperature sensor, but this is even more precise. So this is their first 0.1 degree centigrade um, accuracy sensor, not precision. The precision is, you know, let me see, it's written it down. It's 0 0.007 something. It's like, you know, a 16-bit um, analog to digital converter for a temperature sensor, but the accuracy of the sensor, and the, that is how good it is telling what the true temperature is of the ambient air is 0 0.1 degrees uh, C, which is really, really good. Most um, temperature sensors, digital temperature, temperature sensors are about 0.25 or 0.5. So this is like two or three or five times uh, more accurate. Um, okay. So inside uh, there's, you know, a temperature sensor and there's an I squared C interface. Uh, there's an analog digital converter. As I mentioned, it's a 16 bit ADC um, and it has calibration built into it, so you don't have to do any extra calibration after you've soldered onto their PCB, on, sorry, onto your PCB. Um, that's kind of what makes this a great sensor. Uh, there's two address pins you can see on the left, so you can use um, up to four of these sensors on a single I2C bus. Um, with the 16-bit uh, ADC, you get sorry, 0 0.0078 degrees C resolution with that 0 0.1, plus or minus 0 0.1 degree centigrade accuracy. Um, that accuracy is achievable between 25 and 50 C, so like for room temperature or human body temperature, which is actually kind of what this is intended for. Um, uh, this is a chip, not a lot of pins going on there. I, I like that it comes in a standard uh, QFN style um, with uh, four millimeters by four millimeters. So uh, not too big, not too small, uh, very easy to use. And if you've used the ADT7410, all these pins will be familiar. Uh, in fact, we basically just loaded up our ADT7410 Arduino code um, to test out the chip, and it just worked because it's basically the same underneath. It's just a, a more accurate, more precise sensor. Um, they also had some great eval boards available. Um, I picked up uh, the one on the bottom right. It looks like it says, you know, ADT7420, but I got the 22, um, and I had it hooked up here uh, on the overhead to a Pi portal. So this is the breakout, which I really like. I like that they went with a very simple breakout. Sometimes the valve boards are like these very complicated, expensive things. It's only like, you know, 20 bucks and it has just the sensor on a thin PCB. Interesting, they have like a thermal sink on the bottom. Um, and maybe that's to get better uh, temperature reading because it like maybe channels directly to the chip or maybe it's a heat sink. And then uh, they have these little thermal cutouts on the side as well. Uh, and uh, you can see here, it's a little bit warm in here because it's got the air conditioning off. And when I touch it with my hands, it reacts very quickly and it quickly goes up to temperature. Um, this is kind of intended, I think, for, uh, if you look at you know what the specifications say it's good for, it's human skin temperature, um, wearables for health, uh, incubators for humans or animals. So anywhere where you need very, very precise and accurate temperature readings, and you don't want to like get an RTD or um, a PT100 sensor, which is like a, a lot more uh, circuitry and a lot more wiring. This is just a chip you solder onto the PCB and you just expose it to what you want to measure the temperature of, and you're good to go. Reacts fast, easy to use over I squared C. Very simple. Okay. Um, and you also have. Uh code yeah if you want to use this chip like we don't you know the chip just came out it's very new uh, i just got some yesterday so we don't have an official driver for it but we tried our adt7410 library and it worked just fine 
So if you're trying out this chip uh, and you want to just kind of quickly get some readings, you may not be able to use everything the chip has available, but the ADT7410 code uh, seemed to get us started. Um, also, while I was looking around for driver code to get the demo up and running, I noticed Analog Devices has a GitHub repo and under their no OS, so like, you know, not Linux and not a real-time operating system, um, driver files, they have PRC drivers for a lot of their chips and sensors and devices. So, uh, including for the ADT series. So if you're, before you start writing a driver for your platform, check out the uh, ADI GitHub repo and you might be able to reuse a bunch of their code. Uh, just, you know, implement the uh, hardware abstraction layer and you'll be able to use their sensors. But um, really I've not seen any sensor that's, you know, this inexpensive, this accurate, this precise for temperature reading. Uh, this is a big step up uh, for integrated I squared C temperature sensors. Nice okay, job. when you get it on DigiKey, uh, short URL, digikey.com forward slash short, ZF0D21. You can check that out. There's also the proc number right ADT there. ADT7422. They actually have a bunch, uh, both in tape and reel and digi reel. So if you want to get it pick and placed, you can do that tomorrow. All right, and with that is another Ion MPI. Hi, on MPI.